The post office might be in yet further trouble for entirely different reasons, in that it appears that it might have unlawfully claimed £934 million in tax relief for compensation payments, and now faces an unexpected tax bill of £100 million. This all thanks and credit to taxpolicy.org.uk, with a fantastic article that I will link in the description below. Now, I would have thought that it would go without saying that fines or compensation for wrongdoing should not be a legitimate tax-deductible business cost. Now, HMRC has lots of guidance on this, and uh, unlike fines and penalties for illegal activities, which obviously are not deductible, only compensation payments for things such as breach of contract and negligence that arise in the ordinary course of business might be allowable. But those that are underpinned by wrongdoing or breaking the law should not be, as this article goes on to discuss. Um, this claims here that the post office may have unlawfully claimed £934 million in tax relief for these compensation payments. And they must have gone through quite a bit of detail here because they've followed a bit of a breadcrumb trail in its reports and accounts, the post office reports and accounts. Um, looking here where it says the shareholder recognises that the group faces financial risks, including certain tax-related risks disclosed in the contingent liabilities uh, noted above. And then again on page 70, an adverse outcome in relation to tax-related risks. Again on page 82, an adverse outcome in relation to tax-related risks. But to the casual reader, these might not really mean anything. But when we move down to this bit here, which is really interesting, the only hint as to what the issue could be is in the small print on page 101, which reads, The corporation tax disclosures include assumptions around the tax treatment of the provision, expense and funding income related to the unique processes by which post office is seeking to make payments to claimants, namely HSS, OC and SRR. Uh, we know this relates to historic periods that nothing was disclosed until this year. None of these disclosures were included in previous accounts. And that is something to do with the provision expenses and funding income relating to the post office's compensation payments to victims of the scandal. And then he goes on to talk about the liability and the background and um, payments made by a trading company are deductible for tax purposes. However, a deduction is only permitted for a payment made wholly and exclusively, um, which is what I said earlier, for the purposes of trade. At this point, we cannot say with certainty that the post office falsely accused 4,000 postmasters of theft, but we can be sure it was not for any bona fide purpose of its trade. The post office's actions were as the Court of Appeal put it, an affront to the conscience of the court. Unlawful and very plausibly criminal. It follows that all expenses connected with the post office's persecution of the postmasters are non-deductible, including, but not limited to, compensation and provisions for compensation. There are many cases on this point, but none with facts as extreme as the post office scandal. The position is, in the view of our team, reasonably clear. Uh, so this is a very interesting read, and I'm struggling to understand the veracity behind the decisions of the post office that go so far as to not only be in this mess in the first place, but now appear to be claiming over £900 million in tax relief for compensation payments for its own wrongdoing. Furthermore, the article says here that uh, the, the, the team here understand that HMRC is actively pursuing the point and it's one of five major horizon scandal matters where the post office has, they believe, materially underpaid its tax. There's also several hints that HMRC is investigating here because, as it says here, the outcomes of the ongoing discussions with HMRC represents possible obligations arising from past events. Again, at this point here, where they say they asked the post office for comment for a potential undisclosed £100 million tax liability, and they said... The disclosed information on taxation in post office as annual report and accounts for 22-23, published on the 20th of December 2022, which is obviously a typo, is appropriate and accurate, but discussions with HMRC and the Department of Business continue. The team say here, and I agree, that they read this comment as confirmation that the findings are accurate and that the post office is under HMRC investigation. The team says they also note that the post office is asserting that the disclosure in this year's accounts is appropriate. 
We disagree, the team says, but not defending the accuracy of its previous year's accounts. So again, I'm struggling to understand how these decisions are made at the top at the post office uh, and how this scandal has been allowed to unfold so much. But I thought you'd find that interesting. I will link the article in the description below. Make sure you subscribe for more. And as always, thank you for watching.